been up, up for about an hour and a half now. I came in here this morning just after daylight, and uh, I saw about four deer. There were some bucks chasing some does right across this branch up here. But I knew from past history that I'd seen bucks right here. So I decided to sit up right here instead and hopefully they would work their way over and they never did and all morning I've been hearing them uh, crash and run through the water over there and uh, I saw about a six point come out from in there. So uh, something's going on right over there to the west of me and uh, I think I'm going to pull an aggressive move and uh, take down and uh, ease down a little bit and cross over kind of even with the way I've been hearing all the, the noise up and down uh, the branch on the other side of the branch. And uh, I'd like to get a, a video of them running and chasing through all that water. They've been making a lot of racket. I just saw one just a minute ago. It's feet. Uh, going through the timber over there about 200 yards away. So uh, that's one thing I like about these uh, portable setups that uh, you can take them down real easy and uh, make aggressive moves like this. I did the same thing yesterday and I uh, ended up seeing an eight point uh, down below me down here probably about a, a a quarter down below me and he was a good one so hopefully he'll come up through there he, that may be him over there running now but anyway I'm gonna sit here just a minute longer and if don't nothing pick up I'm gonna move over there let it settle down a little bit and move over there and maybe they'll uh, come back through well I'm back up uh, the transition didn't go quite as well as I'd like all this camera gear and all this stuff makes it a little more difficult than normal. <clears throat> but uh, I'm over here where I heard all the chasing and uh, got a good early warning system on the ground. <laughs> There's so much water here and uh, when they come running in you can hear them from a long ways. But uh, I'm going to settle in. There's been deer all in here chasing this morning. Uh, probably a lot of doe. Uh, sin in here, so maybe a, a really big buck will come in here cruising a little bit later on and uh, trailing those does. I know I saw them pretty much right up under where I'm at right now. There's a lot of big rubs in here. I made an absolutely horrendous shot on that deer. Oh. I broke his back leg. Didn't look like a lot of blood when he left here. Like the hair is still in him. And he went a long ways. I heard him going on up through there. Oh, a long ways. 
I'm hoping I can recover him. I may call, uh, <clears throat> God, I'm so shook up. Oh, I may call nose to the ground tracking service on this one. They're a free tracking service here in Alabama. I think they got one in Mississippi too. I don't know. It's taken off pretty good, pretty big deal. Uh, I got a buddy that uh, that he uh, he tracks. I don't know whether he may be working though. We're supposed to be working. I got to swap out, uh, so I'm not working when I'm supposed to be working. And he works my shift, so I don't know whether I can get up with him. Dang! All I had to do was make a good shot. Shot left. I don't normally. Sh mm. Mm -mm -mm. But anyway, it is what it is. Thing he left here messed up with a broke leg. He, he, uh, maybe he'll bed down or something. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna give that booger some time. It ain't supposed to rain. I don't think until tomorrow. But anyway, boy, howdy. I know he went a long way, so I may ease out here and just see what the blood trail looks looks like for a little ways, but it we're gonna have to give him some time. Well took a little time to quit shaking. You know. I'm still shaking. Still disgusted with myself for the shot. It was just like I mean that's a big buck and I don't see big bucks like that often it's it's like i couldn't couldn't wait to get rid of the arrow and uh i didn't settle in good i don't know it's a little bit of stuff up higher there i could have could have nicked uh my arrow could have caught a little something i don't think it did though. but anyway this weather seeming more and more like rain uh I think I'm going to climb down and go check the weather because if it starts raining, I'm going to be in trouble. It don't look like it's going to start for, you know, three or four hours anyway. But well, quite a bit of times went by since I uh, shot the deer. It's the following day now, and uh, I was just sick about the shot. But I came back in and tried to uh, see what kind of blood I had. Didn't have any blood, and uh Brought my, went home, got my little old dog, Django, and uh, me and him came back in and tried to track the deer, and, uh, and we, we did kind of successfully maybe track it a little bit, but anyway, we bumped the deer, and the deer took off running like it wouldn't hurt too bad, which I knew he was, so uh, we just pulled out, and I came back this morning and started grid searching. I kind of zoned it off. First, I walked all the creeks because I thought he'd be, you know, near water. After we bumped him, figured he'd be down on the water. Walked all the creeks, didn't find anything on the creeks. So I uh, kind of zoned it off. I grid searched one area, nothing. And I came actually down into where I thought the deer uh, would have went anyway. Uh, Django kind of acted like he thought the deer went another direction. So that's what I grid searched first, trying to trust in my dog. And I came in here and, and uh, made one pass down this section. And when I made the second pass, I came across this guy. And uh, I think, I'm thinking uh, that's a book we call Thunderclap that me and my boys was after for a couple of years. and. Uh, after uh, seeing him, I said, well, maybe this is a place deer go to die. And uh, I don't know what happened to him. Nobody shot him, to my knowledge. But uh, I found this water, like an old duck pond in there, a lot of water. And I said, well, I'm gonna look good. And something caught my eye up at the edge of the water. And I, I didn't think, uh, I didn't think it was my deer, but I, had to go look a little closer and sure enough there he was you know it's a nine point i'm not sure whether uh 
whether he's going downhill and uh it's really kind of hard to tell whether he's going on you know an older buck going down the hill or or a younger buck i'm gonna pull his job on and see but i think he's an older deer but uh i was thinking he was a deer we call thunderclap get you know and done got old but there he is over there, a buck that had, you know, more of his characteristics. He's uh, the one I found the skull of. But anyway, it's been about 24 hours since I shot him. And it's time to uh, take care of him and uh, get him out of here. Well, I got my bad lands all packed up and ready to get out of here. This is a second load of meat and the antlers. And uh, I got that pickup. I got it out on the first load, but uh, anyway, been a pretty good ordeal between uh, shooting a deer yesterday and uh, looking for him yesterday evening, bumping him, and uh, finally getting him out today. And uh, lucky, luck, uh, thank the good Lord we had the right kind of weather for this. I might have lost that meat. And uh, thank him also for recovering. I mean, you just. Uh, you just never know how far these deer can go when they're when they're not hit quite like they should be. They hit right, they they pile up within sight. But uh, anyway, I'm fixing to get out of here, and uh, hopefully we'll do better next time. <laughs>